What's up guys, AZ here and in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how you can color grade regular clouds and make it look very dramatic thunder clouds as if a huge storm is about to hit. Now color grading can be one of the most impactful tweaks you can make to your video after it's been shot. It has the potential to alleviate a good image to great and a great image to outstanding. And in this video I'll be showing you how you can achieve this with just basic skills. So let's jump in. Here we are in Premiere Pro and as you can see I have a clip of some clouds onto my timeline and the first thing we're going to do is right click on our project media bin here, go to new item and create adjustment layer. The settings should be default to your video so just press ok and I'm going to go ahead and drag the adjustment layer on top of my video clip. All the color grading we do will be on the adjustment layer. So that if you need to use it on other clips, you can simply just drag it on top of the clips or just increase the size. So make sure your adjustment layer is selected and let's open up Lumetri color panel. You can click on the color button up at the top and you will see the panel, the Lumetri color panel on the right. Or if you don't see it, you can go to window and click Lumetri color. Okay, and now we can start color correcting our image. So go to your Lumetri color panel and under the basic correction, the first thing I'm going to do is lower the exposure to get some details. If your image is too dark, you would want to increase your exposure. If it's too bright, then you would want to decrease your exposure. I will go ahead and set it to 0.4. And as for contrast, I will bump it up and get as much details as possible and make the darker areas more darker. I think 75 for me sounds good okay highlights are usually defined as the bright area in your picture so for me I will decrease it to pop some of the clouds here on the left side and get those details again you don't want to go too low or too high so I think negative 18 sounds good shadows you already know what those are again decreasing it will get even more details so I'll get down to at least negative 70 this looks much better if you click this toggle bypass on and off button you can compare before and after and as you can see we have come a long way as for whites and blacks it's pretty self-explanatory it controls the white and black color in your image as for whites and blacks it's pretty self-explanatory it controls the white and black colors in your image and if you're color grading clouds most of your image will consist of white so messing around with blacks won't make a huge difference however if you increase your whites overall it will make your image pop out but you don't want to go too crazy because you start to lose details so I will just set it at about 20 Again, you don't want to increase your whites all the way because you will start losing details on your bright side of the image. So I will just set it to about 20% like I mentioned. You can go a little bit higher, even 30 looks good. So let's actually, let's just go at 30. Okay, as for saturation, if you are using a flat picture profile, for example, I'm using S-Log2, the saturation is a little bit lower. So I will just raise it to about 125 and you can start seeing the colors start to pop out a little bit more and this concludes our color correcting portion of the video so if you again you know if you just click the toggle bypass on and off you can see the difference from before and after much better okay so for color grading we won't get into too much details but let's go to the next tab here under the cor basic correction you will see creative so go ahead and click on creative and here you can apply LUTs and it stands for lookup table and they are the quickest way to grade your footage once you have color corrected which we did and this is where the magic happens so if you click on the drop down for look you will get many LUT or LUTs that come with Premiere Pro and you can also download more if you like but here just play around with it see 
what you what fits the best for you um, you, you got these arrow keys here that you can just you know browse and then the one that you like you can go ahead and click on it that will apply the LUT onto your image I personally like orange and teal it just gives a nice orangish color to my video and I just love that right again the intensity is way too high for me so I'm just gonna lower the intensity to where it fits my image I think 50 uh, looks good and if you want to see the difference you know before and after applying the LUT you can just uncheck and check this creative box you can see how it looked after and before applying the LUT for faded film I've seen a lot of youtubers use this on their travel videos if you like this go ahead and add it I personally don't like it too much if you like you can sharpen your image a bit but I wouldn't do too much because your clouds will start to look crisp and you want them to look smooth so I wouldn't go more than 20% here and now if we do before and after comparison you can see this is our video flat picture profile without any color grading and this is after color grading you can see it looks so much better much more cinematic and now you know if you add those cinematic black bars apply some sound effects you have your shot ready If you want to learn how to add cinematic black bars onto your video, I have another video for it and the link is in the description so please check it out. But overall the reason why we color grade our footage is to set the mood for your viewers and you know prepare them for the next scene. And it looks so much better. As always if you get any value out of this please like and leave a subscribe down below and if you have any questions or suggestions please comment down below and I'll be happy to answer them. See you next week.